do y'all remember the entire like Dan TDM KSI stuff that was happening two months ago? It was honestly a pretty fun point on the internet because anytime you'd scroll on Twitter, you just see KSI crashing out over the dumbest things I think I'd seen in a minute. The last time I talked about this stuff was like, what, two, three months ago ish, somewhere around that time. So, pretty much September, I would like to, you know, guess here. And what made me want to make a video about this subject again is I was doom scrolling Twitter last night, like I always do at this rate, the way I'm just sitting at 2, 3 a.m. listening to music and scrolling Twitter to see if I could find anything to talk about. I see this tweet from the Zon where KSI is calling out Dan TDM again for like the 500th millionth time in the span of like three months. Now, I don't know if I can even play the actual clip. Um, I'm not going to risk it. So I will tell you what the minute and 26 second clip is. It is KSI giving the most WWE-esque like babyface promo. Not even a babyface promo. It's the most WWE-esque like semi-heel, semi-babyface promo I think I've heard in a minute. And all he does, besides the fact that a Nissan Gibb won like the boxing match or whatever, apparently he was really bad on commentary last night. Listen, I don't watch YouTuber boxing fights. I couldn't tell you. But from what I've been told was that he was severely annoying on commentary. But whatever. Basically, this WWE as promo was KSI saying that anytime somebody disrespect my company, I'm the bad guy. Anytime somebody disrespects me, I'm the bad guy. Guy. and all i could do is sit there like dude what the fuck you got cooked from by the internet not from the internet you got cooked by the internet for about i don't know a few weeks maybe and people were just shitting on your music you got your millions and millions of streams and the millions and millions of plays you got what you wanted right and so the fact that you're still going on two months later is really annoying and really sad so then it had me wondering did dan tdm ever even address this shit two months later and so by googling i'm not kidding just by simply googling i found a dexter article that says dan tdm finally responds to ksi's outrage after viral lunchly criticism keep in mind in the original tweet that dan said all he was talking about was stop selling this shit to kids it's not you know good for them give them like healthier alternatives not some processed food or whatever and this man ksi was on and on and on and on and on for like a few fucking weeks about this shit dude it was genuinely getting sad man before I play you some of the clips from the podcast where Dan talks about this stuff, I do want to mention that KSI and Logan Paul had a podcast episode talking about this situation, drama, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? And KSI was talking about, oh, dude, this was like the greatest marketing strategy ever. I'm going to tweet a bunch of shit and, you know, get people to listen to my new song and, you know, make it go into Billboard Hot 100 tar charts or whatever the fuck. And I'm sitting here like, dude, we already knew that. Who the fuck were you fooling? Who the fuck do you think you are? Fucking Sephiroth or fucking Aizen? Dude, we knew that this was a whole marketing strategy. So that way, your new single that isn't even fucking good gets your numbers that you wanted or whatever. DM yeah, joins the server for... <laughs> yeah. Got aura now. That's Chills. insane. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he, actually, Tom speaks highly of your aura. I really do. Well, yeah, with the, with the whole Twitter stuff that happened, the aura it was, was quite strong. <laughs> That's what he goes on about. I, think, I, I, think... I couldn't believe that. It was like... Was it mad? Yeah, like the whole... It felt a bit Game of Thronesy, like the the whole internet like had my back, which was kind of wild. oh yeah, it was really cool. Was it? Were you just sat in your room like this is a bit mad? Yeah, it was a bit ridiculous for like it was for, like, awesome. Two weeks. And then the living the dream, <laughs> living the <laughs> dream was crazy. I like <laughs> mate, he's been was... crying for like two weeks straight, and you come in and just like I have a great life. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> incredible. That was my way of like but you I went for him now and all. You did like two days KSI. ago. Yeah, but he didn't reply. He didn't reply. Well, he's learned, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna start taking those for real. The way this man was moving during this entire feud or whatever the fuck, I'm gonna start doing that shit. For some reason, if I'm ever in drama or beefing with another YouTuber for some fucking reason, I will be tweeting out saying living life to the fullest. Insert a logic bar as the caption of my tweet. Tweet that shit out. That's gonna be my response. <laughs> I, live in the dream soon. I really like the idea that like he didn't know that I'm going to sound like such a... He didn't know that you had more aura than him. I don't he think I did either, but... <laughs> yeah, you definitely do, mate. Oh, that's sick, man. It was so it was... awesome watching... Seeing all the... <laughs> that meme of, like, no one speaks ill of this man, and <laughs> yeah. it was oh, like... You know, yeah. that. There was a few of, like, you know, the Gru meme, where it's like he's got the gun held up to the thing. Which so one? It's like, you don't speak ill of Dan TDM, and then it was... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the gun, like, pointed at him. So <laughs> yeah, funny. That... Because like, so, just... like my family aren't big YouTube watchers, they don't yeah. know the whole like scene at all. They were sending me memes. I was like, oh god, this has gone like, <laughs> my, like way too far. Real big. Yeah. yeah, it was how like 
he just what I just enjoyed is like he couldn't get around his head why I don't think he's never not been the top dog before. The way I described it's... it is like if you're in school and like me and Jack are year eights and he's like a year ten, and then for the first time ever, the really kind year eleven goes, <laughs> No. And he's yeah. like never had that happen before. I think it was it's just... more as well, like I just I, I couldn't be bothered hierarchy. to like fight. Like he he loves the whole back and forth. That's what the whole boxing stuff is about. Wants, like I get it. it. Yeah. I, I understand it. Um, but it was funny I had to not feed into it because it's just exhausting. you just watch it happen. It was it was fun. Was it fun it was just fun. to sit back and it was funny. This man knew everything that was going on and didn't even bother responding. It was just continuing life normally as shit was just going down. I respect that heavily. I used to watch a lot of Dan TDM as a kid. It was kind of like the few YouTubers I was growing up with, right? And honestly, he was never into drama at all. He just kept to himself and was just posting what he was enjoying doing, right? And then the one time he gets into drama, obviously people gonna have his back because he's a well-respected YouTuber. He's the goat of the game. Gotta respect the YouTube legend. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave the video at that. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I know this video is a little bit shorter than yesterday's video, even though yesterday's video is like almost 20 minutes long. But yeah, this video is a little bit shorter. I wanna just post something for today, you know, after Thanksgiving and all that. So uh, hopefully y'all have some good ass food. I don't know I did, man. I was munching like crazy last night. <laughs> but anyways, that's about it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Like the video if you did enjoy. Uh, my other social media is links down below. So if you wanna just follow me on Twitter and see me fucking, I don't know, reply to random shit. But yeah. That's about it. Peace.